Okay, guys. Today is Wednesday, November 30th. We're going to go check our um, jug lines. I can promise you, Taylor went first thing this morning and caught a 20 pound cat off it. He couldn't wait for me. So we'll lower the boat in and we're going to go check the jug line. We'll see y'all in a minute. That's the jug we're after. We're going to catch it right here on the side of the boat. On this side? Huh? On this side? Don't drop this in the water. Is it running? Yeah. Just grab it with your hands. To quit bossing me around. <laughs> Oh, there he's a smaller is. one, but it's not bad. It's a good size one, though. Yeah. Good eating one. Get him in. There you go. That's a nice size. Not as big as the one not this morning, but that's pounder. not bad. What do you think, Doug? Your first jug fish. No, I got one yesterday, remember? Um, I'm saying that you pulled in. Yeah. Well, I would have pulled a 20-pounder in if you would have waited. And if you would have got up. Okay, here. Not take bad. It, take it off, Dad. All right. Here. All right, we are at Cattle Lake National Wildlife Preserve. And what a lot of people don't know is this was an old ammunition piece of property. And um, we're gonna go see some of the, the buildings that are left. And it has a um, Chernobyl, Chernobyl-ish -ish feel to it. Uh, I forgot a piece for my drone, so I can't fly my drone, which would have been awesome in these buildings. But um, I'm glad that you're with me, David, because these buildings are kind of creepy. They are very, at nighttime, they're real creepy. So, um, here's one of them right here. No, nope, just don't know what's in there. Yeah. We still think they're raising some sort of half-human, half-animal soldier in some of these places. Look, it's got a lock on the door. Hello in there, creature of the Black Lagoon. Look at catch. Catch is on. That's that catch. What is it? Something in there. What is it? What is it? You gotta see if there's animals in there. But look at this place. But how did it get this old from I don't know. Fifty years ago. I mean if they shut down this part. So basically, Taylor, let's see if we got this right. What year did this open up? 1941. 1941 I to 45. Right. I read that it um, produced TNT here, right? 400 million pounds. 400 million pounds of TNT. How many, ac how many, how many acres is this? I think it's 10,000. 10,000 acres. So this is not Man. just, this is just a part of it. Oh, but it was all over the place. I think someone said there's 600 miles of road on this place. 600 miles of road. I still find it hard to believe, but that's a lot of road. But what was this right here? This is crazy. Well, tanks. These are where the, these, these had tanks on top of them. Okay. And then those had giant tanks on top of them. Big tall tanks. It looks like something from Star Wars. It really does. I wonder if we could, um, what's down these holes? Huh? What's down these holes? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of them are So 41 to 45 is when we did TNT and that was, you know, WW2, right? And then they started producing ammunition, ammunition for the Korean, Korean War. 50, in the, 55. Yeah, 55. And then, um, again, they kept it going through the Vietnam War. And they made rocket fuel. They made rocket fuel in, motors. in the 60, in 64. Mm -hmm. Rocket fueled motors. And um, that was what's crazy is they shut it down in 87. 
and started disassembling it in 87 and that continued through 90 well that was for us and the russians we also helped defuse the russian warheads too the russian actually i take that back we did ours but the russians came and looked at it here george bush senior came here with uh russian officials and russians over stayed here apparently through the so however many years and help dismantle make sure we dismantle the rockets so okay the people watching their people okay during the agreement that we had uh that we had to dismantle the uh, bombs okay and i think that was under reagan i'm pretty sure it was under reagan it might have it probably was yeah that, brother, that makes sense did the deal. Mm -hmm. and um so then they almost a 10-year span of disassembling this place and um now you can see what it's like and we're gonna walk through some yeah this is just one location there's hundreds there's like of locations 300 structures still in this 300 different locations of structures this is the biggest one probably yeah it, it, it it's funny because i i feel pretty brave walking through here but if i was by myself this could creep you out if the sun's going down it gets a little weird And I forgot a piece for my drone, so I'm not gonna be able to fly my drone, but this would be a really cool place um, to, fly, to fly a drone. Okay, she get scared. Okay, we're gonna go look at some other buildings. I'm gonna turn y'all off so my battery might be going dead. Okay, where are we going, David? Cash. I talked to the park ranger one time. He said for years the, the army, or I guess it's the army that was running it, was supposed to come get the papers out of here. Look. Ah, look at that. I'm gonna tell them what kind of documents you could find in here. Oh, we did. There's, there's like all kinds of ledgers. ledgers. Yeah, look, see the ledgers. The money spent out. We looked at one. There's millions and millions of dollars that was just on one check register that a guy hand wrote. It was like from the 50s. It was handwritten. What is that hanging on the wall there? Light box. Wow. We're here one evening. You could hear the animals scurrying around. Oh, it's here. Just imagine that's a possum kingdom right there. Possum kingdom. I get it. I get it. This one's empty though. Those are good shelves. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is. If I could just get in there, I could take those home. That's crazy. There's all kinds. There's tons and tons of good. And here we are at another point. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I keep thinking I'm gonna see like a person hiding behind one of these walls. It is crazy. Can you see the half moon up there? This is crazy. Look how big this place is. Look how thick the concrete Okay. We think... That concrete's solid. We think this was a place they tested 
ammunition, TNT, whatever, right? Tested bombs right there. Tested bombs here. And you know how we think we know? This is where they would sit. And they'd watch out this little window. Look how thick that glass is. And then they would ignite whatever over here. But what's crazy, this is all built into a, it's like a bunker into the side of a hill, right? No, I know. Look how thick it is. Now, what's behind that door? I don't know. I mean, we still think they're raising some sort of, like I said, mutant soldier men in here. What's in here? You guys know. Stay. Stay. Oh my gosh. Stay. This is creepy. Isn't it cool? This comes out where that gate is. Oh, in the front, right? Uh -huh. So that's a bunker. Cause you got a smokestack coming out of it. Yeah, that's an underground. I didn't notice that the first time. There's a door in there somewhere. Wow. What is in here? This is insane. Walk around that mound, see if you can find the Alright. Ha, huh, here's the front door. Huh? Here's the front door. Oh, is it those cages? Yeah. They've got them welded shut. What did they use that for? I have no idea. They need somebody out here given the history of this. Wow. You would think there would be somebody. I called the guy that runs the place. He's like, yeah, no, we don't know anybody like that. He said, we don't really have anything to do with that. We're just I mean, part of the national park. It's got trees growing on top of it. Crazy. <clears throat> this is the best one. Well, there's another one if I can find it. Oh. All those are the airboats. It's pretty. It's pretty um, peaceful back here. Yeah, isn't it though? I mean, look, there's chain link fence running through the woods. And they don't want you back in here. You go down that road. You're dead end. There's a gate. I challenge. I challenge you to come spend the night by yourself in here. No. no that wouldn't be like. It, it reminds me of I Am Legend. You know, in the nighttime when yeah. they're in the hollow. They're down I'm, the, I'm thinking somewhere. Blair Witch Project. No telling what kind of creatures come out at night here. Well, there's sections of this that you still can't go in. There's several sections out here that. It, they got fences around that says you can't go in. But why can they why can we not go in there now still? Because that's where the mutant goat boy is. Mutant soldiers. Area 51. It's kind of an area 51. It really is. It's, it's very bizarre. Alright, so we're back to the truck. Isn't that thing huge? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It looks like an amphitheater. You know what I told Carson? It cool does. Is this band could set up and play right there? How awesome would that be? A video of his band set up under there. He was like, yeah. All right. On to the next. All right, Jay. What are you cooking for us today? Yummy.
Vegan night at Ve- Caddo. <laughs> Vegan night at the lake. Vegan night at Caddo. Are these cows you shot yourself? Slaughtered and butchered today. Nice. Nice. And we're in front of Jay's little piece of paradise. All right, we'll let you know how the steaks turn out here in a little bit. Don't mess it up, Jay. Okay, we think we got a big fish on here. I don't think it's a big one. It would have gone under. It's just a little one, I think, but he's got it down the river for always. David thinks it's a 50 pounder. I hope so. Let's see what we got. Jay's got the net. Big and it's a little one. Unless he's just playing possum. Oh, that's hey, a good that's, a, that's a blue. That's, that's a blue. That's a good catch. That's, that's a nice cat right there. That's a nice blue fish. Okay. We just came a long way down the river. This is going to be a big fish. We feel it. You don't feel big yet. Come on. Like anything's on it. Yeah, there's there, it's little. He just swam. Get your, get your net in the, get, get in the water. He's good, just a good swimmer. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's not a bad fish. He covered a long, long way. Is that one legal? Yeah. Hell yeah. Now they're all legal. Oh. Unless it's a flathead and it's 18. Wow, oh, we still got bait too. I thought it was going to be a 50 pounder the way it is. Some of it swam a long ways. Get it. <laughs> Get him, Cash. Get him. Get him. So Lake Caddo is coming to an end. Had a blast hanging out, David. Yes, sir. I gave you a lot of grief, but I had a lot of fun this week. Oh, good deal. And I had fun too. We're, David's been cleaning all the fish, and I've been watching and, and giving him instructions. But um, this place and my friends are such a blessing to have. Um, but tomorrow morning we're going to Longview and we're going to have another brotherhood. Got more buddies coming in town, and um, people are going to do some deer hunting, um, some cooking, and we're going to do a fish fry with a lot of this fish that we caught. So um, stay tuned. And remember, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and make a comment of maybe something you like liked about my videos or something you'd like to see different. Most people just want to see more cash. Um, anyway, David? Yes, sir. So, see you in a little bit. See you in a bit.